Let's go ahead and calculate the death risk you may have from sleep apnea. I'm not just saying it's higher. We're actually going to figure out how many years you have left based on some scientific literature and some calculations here. So grab a pen and paper and let's dive in. Before that, make sure that you click follow so you get all the insights you need for better sleep for a better, longer life. So here's the full calculation. We're going to start off by if you're a man, you're going to start with this number. Woman, start with that number. And you're going to subtract your current age all right so if you're 50 years old and you're a man 83 minus 50 you got 33 years left very friendly right then you're going to go through this list here and subtract additional things from that number of 33 so for instance if you have moderate sleep apnea subtract seven years if you have heart disease or any of this minus five and then here are the other numbers for you so in this example had 33 years left and then subtracted 10, three and five, it's 18. So 15 years left, which means 18 fewer years on this earth. Don't freak out. It's a number. It's a risk that you can change by taking action, improving your sleep. Follow for more sleep apnea insights and then get the free guide at apneareset.com.